What's up, y'all, man? King Carlos here. <coughs> Sorry, dude. Let me get us. Let me get something to drink because mine goes dry ass. But it's King Carlos here, man, back with another video. Oh, that's that movie, that Pleasure Island. Shit, that shit was out of here. Treasure Island. Or Pleasure Island, whatever the fuck it was. Oh, dude, sweetie Sprite. Let's go, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Come on. I want to speak on something, bro. Cardi B and Offset announced they're not getting divorced. And she didn't go through with it. Um, Number one, even though I, it's probably not that. You know, they got that together because, like she said, th th she just thought it through and stuff like that. I want to say it looked, to me, it kind of looked bad, the fact that it was after, it, sh it, it looked, it, it, listen, to a stupid person who doesn't, who could, who's never been in a relationship, so they don't understand that shit happens and rough fights happen, it would look like the car brought them back together, but the car, the car is just like, a, it's just a conduit. It's, it's really him trying to show, like, you know, with the baby seat in the back and stuff like that. I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to, I don't know. It's, the, the car is just, like, a, a gift to me, a small thing. I think that he probably, I think he probably told her something really important, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? Offset looks like the type of nigga, bro, that know how to take shit serious. I mean, take shit serious, know how to be a man. He's had, he had children before Cardi B, so he was already a, a father young, bro. Usually that matures you up. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Shout out to Offset and shout out to Cardi B. This is my thing, bro. I'm not making a video. The video is about them, but it's not more about them. It's about today's relationship dynamic. See, this is what I mean. But the fact that she said that shit, that she said they're getting divorced, the fact that because it's just a rough fight, this is what a lot of relationships go through. This is like a big reason. Listen, I'm not going to sit up here and act like the fact that women so-called maximizing their sexuality hasn't destroyed the dynamic of the relationship today because it has because it's put men in a, a constant state of fear a constant state of um, of uh, jealousy is put, I'm, and I'm talking about men across the board because, and, and, this is, and this is my thing, women have always had options. Like, I hate that they make it seem like now women have a whole lot of options. Women have always had options. It's just women used to respect themselves, and women knew back then that they were the prize. It was, they knew the power they had by not giving a man sex. You understand what I'm saying? They understood back then the power they had by not letting a man get none. You could talk to and flirt with as many guys as you want, but the power of not and of choosing like somebody that you really, you know what I'm saying? Women knew back then, bro, that kind of power. And how how made them more stronger women. And if women wanted in, real envy, the women who even back then knew that they wanted a little hate, they know bitches hated on them and shit. They knew that that was a true way to get it, to be, to have something committed, to, have, to get something real that most people can't find. Everybody can find sex. Everybody can find somebody attractive. But today's women think that is what's the power. The fact that you, no, that's not, that's stupid. That's dumb as hell. That's what that's what kills it. Women are that's what makes it where women today are so ran through. Women listen, women have always had sex. Women have always had multiple lovers throughout the years. Women have never been committed to one one man as soon as they start having sex, right? Back in the day, I know women got married very young, but I'm just saying, women have always had sex. Frequent sex. And what I mean and what I, what's it called? What's the word? Just when it's just casual sex, when you're not in a relationship. Just sex with somebody. Women have always did that, bro. But it was to a level, and also the discreetness of it. Women kept shit on the low. That shit has totally gone. Now, the average woman today is like Cardi B, very open, not not, um, not very... They, even though she is smart, they come off very dumb, very loud, um, very um, unassuming. No, no not, not, not unassuming, very unaware. Um very uh um, very emotional and for in hood and in, in, in the hood part and the, the experience part comes in the negative because it's it's like with gang shit like nowadays women think it's cool to be in gangs and gang bang and fuck with niggas who gang bang and fuck with niggas who have robbed and killed somebody and done all this fucked up shit because they feel like having that is experience it's not you just been around a fucked up person and most of the time y'all know y'all put themselves in y'all y'all do put yourself in the positions on purpose that's dumb but this video isn't about that. It's more about how nowadays people, 
the reason relationships don't last and people be like marriages don't last and what happened to the long relationships, people don't understand that shit happens. People don't know understand rough patches. People don't understand depression and depression within relationship and how it could get better within a relationship. Most people nowadays, when they get depressed in a relationship, they leave. When they get angry in a relationship, they leave. When they feel unwanted in a relationship, they leave. They don't work. People, couple, we don't work. Couples don't work on shit no more. That's what changes it. It's always been this way, guys. Our parents are different from us, but not so different. <clears throat> they just knew how to work shit out. They knew sacrifice. But in but they didn't they didn't put themselves on the back burner when I say sacrifice. I'm talking about for the greater collective of the relationship. Right? People knew that back then. Nowadays people are all for self. People be in relationships as soon as they get in them, they're thinking about how to get out, who to cheat on, who to cheat with. Uh, who to go make jealous, all this other bullshit, man. It's not about each other no more. It's not about building something. It's not about, look, I can't follow you around. You can't follow me around. I can't go through your phone. I don't want you to go. I don't feel like, you, I don't, you don't want to go through my phone. I don't feel like going through your phone. We're grown. Let's just love. Let's trust each other and let's build something real. Let's build something that lasts. Let's build something that these motherfuckers can really hate on. Let's build something that these motherfuckers don't, you know what I'm saying, can't find somewhere in the back of a club. They can't find it. Um, in a bottle with a in an Ace of Spades bottle, they can't find this shit in a designer store. They can't find this shit on a foreign car lot. They can't find this shit in the park. Let's build something for real. Nowadays, people don't build shit real. Shit, the real don't just happen. People think that real relationships and soul nigga soulmates don't just come out the sky. Nobody is meant for nobody. Love don't love nobody. It's the people who understand that and build something and make it work, nigga. Y'all tripping. The fact that Offset and Cardi B got. Just had a child and all that, and they probably what had a, what a few rug patches, a few arguments, and she ready to end it and all that shit. But she's supposedly a blood and been through the streets and been through all this mud and had to all these hardships and to go it out. That shit was weak. On that was a weak move by you, Cardi B. I'm not gonna lie. Come on, work work that shit out. If that's your best friend, nigga, you fight with your real best friend more than that. It doesn't matter. If y'all not getting along, if y'all not seeing eye to eye, y'all go to counseling. Y'all talk about it. Y'all find a counselor. Y'all don't have to go to a professional counselor. Find somebody who used to be a counselor. And they could come to your house in the environment y'all comfortable in. Y'all got the money. We counsel back in the day. As, as Hebrews, you can look it up, man. We, we went to counsel back in the day. We also got divorced. But there was a way to get divorced. It's not about now with this legal shit. Because marriages weren't legal back then, they were based on love. And, and, I, and let me say this one more time. I've said this on this channel, and I want y'all to know it. Sex constitutes marriage. Sex is marriage to the Most High. That's the reason, listen. And this is why. Back then, the day when we had sex with a woman, we took her as our wife. We had children with her. We built something. So the sex was a decision that mattered. That's beautiful to the Most High. Even, and we were fruitful with our wives. More. We had multiple wives, guys. But we took care of all of them. We took care of all our wives. Multiple wives is natural. That's the way it's supposed to be. Sorry for all you ladies watching that don't like that. Natural, multi, every man is supposed to have multiple wives, at least seven wives. That's the way it's supposed to be. And you can have as many concubines as you want. But the concubines cannot live in the main house. And, and I'm only speaking, this is only Hebrews, by the way. I'm not talking about any other race that's watching this that's not Hebrew. When I say Hebrew, I mean Negro, like black. I'm not mean, I don't mean that in a bad way, dude. That's just like the way that we supposed to, we supposed to, we don't live that way obviously you can see but that's the way we're supposed to do it at least seven wives you can have many concubines as you want concubines are really usually races of women who are not negro the, the women you choose as your wives have to be negro because the most i say is that your children should be the, your, your your wife should be of your um choose a wife of your choose a wife of your mother's tribe and the daughter should choose a husband of their father's tribe that means choose if you're black and you're watching this you should choose a husband who's the race of your father and you should choose a woman who's the race of your mother if you're a man watching you know what i'm saying that's all that means guys but uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the video bro